What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in, man. And today we have the review on the Jordan 7 French Blues. Blues, should be the Wapman. That's not no blues. But anyway, I don't know what the hell is. Yeah, that's not blues. But anyway, man, what a great shoe, in my opinion. Well slept on, which would bring us to the video before this on Did You Sleep or Did You Keep? So um, if you didn't check that one out, go check it out. I uh, dropped it just before this one. But uh, hey, man, this is a great shoe. I cannot lie, but I also understand why people would have slept on this shoe because of the colorways that are very similar to that of the Legend Blue Fours. But uh, without further ado, let's get into this uh, little review. Uh, basic. Well, first of all, this is a retro of the Jordan. I mean, of the Jordan. Well, Jordan Seven French Blues that released in 2001 or 2002, I believe, when Jordan played for the Wizards. Um, these are part of the remastered series. Um, the leather is um, very tumbled, uh, feels very mushy, feels pretty genuine. Reminds me that of the Jordan 4 Legend Blues that we did see. Um, tumbled, very, like I said, very tumbled. Somewhat like that of the Jordan 5 Laney. That's how I can compare it to something if you haven't had a remastered shoe yet. I love the leather on the Jordan 5 Laney's. But uh, you have, uh, there's the colors, you have a French blue. Um, I don't know the I think this is, I mean, it's a gray. I don't know if the name of the box, I couldn't find it. Flint, I guess it's a Flint, or no, BL Flint Gray. I think that's gray, Flint. And then uh, University Blue, I believe I had the colors correct. And then like here you see these, the paint, pretty decent paint job on the sides. You have the tongue with the colors here as well. The stitching is very nice on here. It's pretty clean, not all messed up. The cuts are very nice on the leather. On the back you have the 23 right there. The laces are the oval laces, my favorite type of laces. Here's the in linear side of the shoe. And on the sole, you have, you know, the color mixtures. This blue is very uh, different. You know, um, like um, T. Blake was saying, it's like a translucent blue. Reminds me of like that same color blue on, not same color blue, but the translucent, translucency, if that's a weird, a real word, seems like it would be, <laughs> of the Jordan 11 uh, breads that, um, that blue that's like thick enough to where it won't yellow but it's uh thin enough to where you can actually see light through it you know what i'm saying it's not t transparent or uh wait trans translucent and then transparent as you see straight through it whatever it's not a solid color you can still see somewhat through it on the inside you have a white with a dark blue i don't know if that's the university it might be the university blue these are, I mean, for me wise, guys, you guys, let me know below in the comments. Please let me know. These did not fit true to size. This is a size eight. I don't wear size eights. I wear nines and I wear nine, uh, eight and a half. This is an eight. Uh, this is all they had left. Watch out for the vlog. The vlog will drop tomorrow. You'll see more about it. I fit, I was able to fit an eight. Perfect. Like it's a real nice snug fit. I have an eight and a half in Raptors and they don't fit at all. So it's weird. But uh, hey, great shoe. Materials are on point. I was thinking about just getting it and then doing a review and uh, letting it go. I don't know. If somebody hits me up. I'm not sure. But uh, right now, they they're pretty much having a comfortable home right now. So leave your comment below. Let me know what you guys think. This is the first video in 4K. Make sure your monitors are set to 4K and uh, the audio is going through my mic. So you know, cause my my, my audio has been real messed up lately. But I got it fixed. I mean, I'm not, I haven't got it fixed. I'm doing this, which is pretty nice. But um, I'm trying to fix it. So yeah, leather is alligator pussy, guys. You already know what alligator pussy is. Koala bear nuts. It's it's a one, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the uh, on foot. Or before we talk about that, my bad. Comes in the the new Jordan box. I'll do a little cutaway scene so you can see that more. New Jordan box. And um, yeah, man. Without further ado. Let's go ahead and get to the on foot review. Let's go. A cat down table by anything a nigga sell on. Tell 
tuning in hope you, hope you guys liked and enjoyed that video um on the jordan 7 french blues i wanted to give you guys a heads up on what's to come Beep. coming up soon got the Sacconi wool lodge pack come oh, i gotta sneeze bad never mind came okay, they went away Woo, it's, it was there um got the Sacconis. got the oreos i got a killer still unboxing about to drop Shout out to Jake. Um, Calm Loop Unboxing. Um, yeah, it's a good week coming up. Did you sleep or did you keep? Uh, discussion video coming up. So, guys, thanks for everything. Let's get this popping, man. This week's going to be pretty busy. Uh, I've been I've been going through something real recently. Not really something, but um, as you all may know on Instagram, I got hit bad. Was, I was trying to get the Oreos for you guys. I got hit bad. It took a big major loss, um, but I'm able. I was able to recover. So... You know, um, I'm good on that. I had to drop a thousand dollars on a new starter for the BMW. It pays to be cool sometimes. But uh, I'm getting back on my feet, so you know, I was kind of dead in the last two videos, guys. But I'm, I'm back at it, moving. And uh, you know, you guys helped me get through some things, man. So shout out to everybody out there. Hopefully, you guys got your balls licked over the weekend. Um, and uh, yeah, man, I'll see you guys in the next review, man. It's your boy Tony D Two Wild checking in, checking out. Peace. Cause we hungry, we glean wood all day.